Okay, so lead code practice question. Uh, in this video, we will go through this uh, problem, which is called cell diminishing valued colored balls. And uh, we will explain what the solution is, and uh, we will explain the procedure we should follow within a real interview. So uh, let's go through this problem. So remember the first step in a real interview is always try to understand the problem and think about the edge cases, ask some proper questions, etc. So let's go through this uh, description. You have an inventory of different colored balls and there is a customer that wants others balls of any color. So the colors, so the customer weirdly values the colored balls. Each colored ball's value is the number of the balls of that color you currently have in your inventory. So for example, if you own six of the yellow balls, the customer will pay six for the first yellow ball. And after the transaction, there are only five yellow balls so that the next yellow ball is then valued at five, so on and so forth. And you're given an array uh, of inventory where inventory i represents the number of the balls at the i's color. Uh, so you are also given integer others which represents the total number of the balls that the customer wants. So return the maximum total value that you can attain after selling others colored balls as the answer may be too large, you will do modular uh, 1 billion plus 7. So let's see about this. So we have two, co uh, two colors and the uh, first color has two balls, second color has five balls and you th the other is four. So of course you're going to first sell the, uh, the color uh, that has five balls and then after you sell it you have four of the balls of that color and then after then you sell it you have three of the that color and then after that you have uh, you, for each color you have two of them and then you can sell any of them to uh, make the fourth transaction so the total maximum gain we could get is 14 in total so that's pretty uh, straightforward I think um, so, I mean, the question is pretty straightforward, uh, but uh, let's see the constraints. So, inventory the lens is between 1 to uh, 100k, so the inventory is not going to be empty, and also the other will not overflow the maximum uh, number of the balls we currently have. So, uh, let's go through the solution so the solution is more about a greedy uh, it's a greedy solution so it's essentially every time you pick uh, the max the 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 ball that had the color of the ball that has a maximum count so for example we have two uh, colors uh, and the uh, the first color has two balls and second color has uh, five balls so we are going to do it in a greedy way we are going to sell it uh, sell the the color that has a maximum count which is five so we gain uh, five uh, and then the next time uh, we have two and four in the array so we are going to sell uh, the the color that has four balls so on and so forth so, so every time we choose uh, the ball that uh, the color of the ball that has the maximum count to sell to achieve the maximum gain at that step and so on and so forth we just repeat it so essentially this is more like a um, so after you understand the problem it's more like a, a mathematical formula you're going to to write down uh, to calculate the final number so let's go through this piece of code so first of all i define a helper function to sort the inventory uh, array, which is the integer array, in uh, this should be descending order, I think. So this is in descending order. Uh, let me submit it again. Yep. So first of all, uh, we sort the array in descending order uh, from the largest to the smallest. This is the helper function, uh, and then um, we set the total to be zero. And uh, well, the other others is larger than zero, then we are going to go go through the logic within this while loop. And finally, after this while loop, uh, the others is going to be smaller or equal to zero. We're just going to return the total gain we could achieve. So 
So the max is of course the first uh, the first uh, thing in the inventory array right? because uh, we have already sorted in this and the other. So the next is let's say the next is equal to zero. So next means uh, the index within the inventory that doesn't have the value as max. And the count is essentially how many uh, of the items within the inventory array that has a value as max. So this well loop tells us uh, uh, how many how many of the how many of the colors that has uh, the count as max. And this uh, so if the count is small, the count if if after the well loop. Uh, we not we are not going uh, we are not out of the range of the inventory uh, array then it means uh, then we still have some ball that has some color of the ball that has a total number like the had a count smaller than max so we are going to set the next to be uh, the next uh, the second I would say the color of the ball that has a second larger inventory and then we compute the total. So we are going to uh, do a sale on the color of the boss that has count as max. And uh, within the after this order, we will have uh, the maximum of the the maximum count of all the colors to be equal to next. So this is essential. This uh, helper function essentially tells us um, uh, to achieve this kind of order uh, how how many dollars we could gain from uh, this kind of order, and we compute the total, and then we uh, minus the order um, because we have how many transactions we have. We have count times max ne minus next. And then we set uh, all the inventories. Um, so we we set the uh, the balls we have sold to be next because we have so for each of the let's say we have uh, let's say the array is something like five five four three. So we let's say it is five five three three. So we are going to sell the first two two ball two colors and then after the transaction it will be something like three 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 so we are going to sell uh, two of the first color and two of the second color to make sure that um, after the transaction um, this is going to be the number of the balls of the first two color is going to be changed uh, to be the same value as the next maximum so that's essentially what the transaction is and within this helper function it is uh, how many dollars uh, we are going to achieve for, th for this kind of transaction uh, so it is more like a mathematical uh, calculation about that so that's pretty much it about uh, this kind of uh, solution so if you have any question about the solution or about the code uh, so feel free to leave some comments below uh, if you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.